Good morning everyone and welcome back to Stitches with Charlie Feathers. This is a Frost G20 and this is a kit parade. So um, I hope you're all well. Hello to all my new subscribers. There's been quite a few of you over the last couple of videos and it's so exciting to say that I've reached over 1,000 subscribers. So thank you so much. I can't tell you how great it feels to have reached 1000 subscribers and and gone over that because yeah these videos just take so much love and energy and it's so nice to know that lots of you are enjoying it and following along and being with me through my cross stitch journey so thank you so much um I have got a giveaway running at the moment. If you go to FlossTube19.2, which is the part two video, I am giving away a kit, which is really beautiful. So you need to go over there, watch the video and comment. I give the, the, the keyword for the comments um, in that video. So make sure you comment under that video, which is FlossTube19.2. Um, so yeah, since I last saw you, I did show you, you this kit in my last floss tube. This is a panna kit from Russia and it's called Southwind. And this is the one that I fell in love with as soon as I saw it on Instagram. And I was really fortunate that one just miraculously came back in stock and I grabbed it. And I did feel quite anxious that it wasn't going to arrive, like maybe they'd made a mistake on the website and they didn't actually have one and it wasn't going to turn up, but it did. I was so pleased. Um, so, yeah, this is a complete kit with even weave, a really nice even weave, actually. Um, it's a 27 count gamma, um, which and the, the flosses I've realised are actually gamma as well from reading through the instructions. Um, they're really beautiful, the floss and the fabric. I'm really enjoying working with them. And from doing a bit of research, they are fabrics and floss that are Russian. Um, but I'd be really keen to get another kit from them again or maybe try and source some of this even we fabric. And I don't know if you can buy the flosses as sets. So I've no idea. But I started this on Good Friday. Um, I really wanted a new start for the weekend. Quite often do that. I work on something and get it to a, a you know a good place Monday to Friday and then at the weekend I quite often like to have a new start and because it was Good Friday bank holiday here in the UK I thought perfect opportunity to have a new start and I'm absolutely loving this so much it's so lovely to stitch um I haven't put much back stitching yet just her eyes her nose and a little mouth just because it looked a bit weird without them <laughs> um oh i loved stitching that coat it was so fun um there's only one blend in this kit um so it's and it's all full crosses half crosses uh there's some back stitch and some french knots but you could substitute the french knots with beads um i'm going to cross that bridge when i come to it so yeah as i said before i'm using all the kit flosses and i'm using some um floss drops that I handmade myself they're really beautiful actually I found these vintage sort of looking papers in the charity shop and um, yeah they're really nice and I made myself a little ring bling as well so yeah I'm really I'm really really enjoying working on this so because I started a new kit I thought I'll get out all my kits and show you what I have in my stash I thought that might be quite a nice thing to do so let's start with some kits that um i've actually received for free so this is um a kit that i got from a to v brands they gifted this to me and it's a mr my little miss cross stitch cushion um and i'm not actually going to stitch the whole cushion i think what i'm going to do is take certain mr men or little miss that i like and I'm going to just stitch them in little pillows. I really like Mr. Bump. And Mr. Happy, uh, my youngest daughter, she went through a phase of being obsessed with Mr. Men. 
and wanting to read Mr. Happy an awful lot. So I'll probably do him. It comes with the instructions. It comes with, um, I think there's a needle under there somewhere. Um, all the flosses. And this is the main reason why I won't stitch it. If anyone wants a cushion panel, <laughs> then please feel free to message me and I'm happy to post this to you because I just won't use it. Um, or I guess, oh, there's the needle there. Or I guess you could um, cut this up and um, just use the Ada that's in it. Yeah, and it's plain on the back. But I just think, God, that would be such a pain in the bum to... <laughs> to stitch on because you'd have to like stitch on it with the back panel and the zip in there I just oh, I just don't think I'd enjoy that at all but yeah some more gifts from A to B they sent me this um, baby sampler from Peter Rabbit and I haven't actually properly opened this one yet, but I take it that they give you an alphabet and some numbers so that you can personalise it. And I won't stitch this sampler, but what I thought I would do is maybe take certain sections of it again and make some pillows. Like you could just take that section, make a pillow in that one as well. So, yeah. Some really pretty designs also been gifted this one I absolutely love this one and I am going to stitch it as it is but I'm going to use some pink even weave I'm not going to do all that back stitch on Ada just from experience I don't enjoy doing back stitch on Ada but I really love this design and I really like the pink fabric actually and I have got a perfect pink even weave in my stash that I'm going to use okay from Hobbycraft I bought this recently it's fairly recent i bought this in the sale that they had it was like 50 percent off all cross stitch patterns and kits and i'd liked this one for a while it was um i think i paid about a pound for it in the end but i just thought it was so pretty I showed this in my last Foss tube as well. This was a, a kit that was very kindly gifted to me by Cross Stitch Sarah from the World of Cross Stitching magazine. I really like this. I think it's really cute. And I would quite like to make it into a little zipper pool on my project bag. I haven't actually opened it, so I don't know how big it is, but I don't think it's huge. Let's have a quick look. Oh, it might be a bit too big for a project bag, actually, but... Oh, it's really cute. I will use it. The next one I showed as well on my last floss tube. This is Fine Feathers by Carolyn Meacham Serendipity Designs. Again, another one that Cross Stitch Sarah gifted to me. It's a full little kit. It's so cute. I've got this one, um, which I think is quite vintage. Um, I saw this in the charity shop. Yeah, I paid £2 for it. Um, and I just thought it was really sweet. I love little vases of flowers and I think it was the colours. I thought the colours were really, really gorgeous. So, yeah, I don't know when this is from. Let's have a look. No, I can't see any, can't see any date on the pattern. I'll have to look it up. The Inglestone Collection mini kits. Some embroidery kits that I also showed that Sarah gifted to me. I love that little Windermere one. I'm definitely going to do that one fairly soon. These are Rowan Dean um, patterns. I have this cute kit, which is Tufts and Tails Red Key Ring, Red Squirrel Key Ring kit, which I got from Cross Stitcher magazine last summer. And it's so sweet. I was going to start this while I was out and about with my girls last summer. They were playing in some local gardens. And um, I was going to sit on the bench and start it and then realised after I took the picture that there was no needle. <laughs> so I didn't actually end up starting it. I put it back in my kits. Another free cross stitcher one. Oh, I love this one so much. Garden Fox. Yeah, I love this one. If you want to know where I'd, what issue either of those are from, just let me know and... Um, 
and I can look it up and let you know. I bought this one from a charity shop as well um, for £1.50. Um, I think this is a textile heritage collection um, kit and I really love Comfrey. I've grown it myself from um, seed and it flowers every year in my garden and the um, the bees really, really love it. They're always buzzing around it. <laughs> um, and what I thought is, I keep meaning to look it up if I can get these other ones because what I thought might be really nice is if I stitched them on one piece of um, fabric so that I could make like a little small skinny pillow like with them all in the line i thought that might be quite cute um because yeah i bet they're all really beautiful i really like the simplicity of these designs and they'd be really quick to stitch i'm trying to think when this one if this one's got a date on it let's have a look i don't actually think i've opened this one so i hope it's a complete kit oh look at those colors they are like my dream colours. <laughs> God, the card's really nice. I like that olivey colour. Well, that's interesting. It gives you more information about it. Comfrey is one of the traditional healing herbs. Its name comes from the Latin confer, to grow together, and it was reputed to heal broken bones sprains and bruises hence such popular names as knit bone bruise wart and bone set in lincolnshire it was called abraham isaac and jacob due to the variation in the color of its flowers it grows to two and a half feet and is a valuable source of vegetable protein you can also use the leaves um, as if you break it down in water you can use it as a um a, a fertilizer for your plants so if you've got like um you know like a allotment or um if you've got an allotment or you just want to use it in your garden then you can you can do that as well yeah it's from 1990 and it's designed by jane sorry a Anne or Anne with an e or um and i've also done natural dyeing with comfrey in the past which is the reason why i grew it in the first place um, and I got some really, really um, lovely results. Should I go and grab it and I can show it to you? Hang on a sec. So, yes, this is the blanket. Um, so this is um, this is actually wool, which I won't use anymore because I'm vegan. Um, but so much love and care was put into this project that I just I haven't been able to part with it yet. I think it's one of the. Um, last pieces of um, things in my house that I have that are not vegan um, I think I've maybe got one feather pillow left um, that I made a handmade cushion on and maybe just this blanket now actually I think everything else that is non-vegan and contains animals or is from animals is no longer in my home which is you know my preference <laughs> um, but it does hold a really um, important memory in my life as well because my second daughter, she was a home birth, um, gave birth to her on, on the sofa downstairs and after she was born, um, like this was wrapped around us um, to keep us warm because of all the, um, you know, all the adrenaline of giving birth and going through labour. With both my girls, I've been really shaking um, and, and cold afterwards. Um, it's quite an intense feeling. So I think that's probably why I haven't um, got rid of this because I am quite attached to it. But I think my friend Caro will probably take this off my hands at some point when I'm feeling ready to let it go. But um, yeah, this was um, a pattern by Bonnie Sennett. She's called Blue Peninsula designs and she's an amazing knitwear designer she is really really incredible designer um i've knitted so many of her patterns scarves shawls um mittens gloves you know fingerless mittens and this blanket which i i 
I really really love it's called the log cabin blanket so as you can see it's like knit in sections and then you join on each piece as you go so you knit it as you go but um, this was the natural wool um, this is dyed with um, comfrey this one this sort of light green um, this peachy corally color that is avocados um, I can't remember if it was the pits or the skins or I sometimes used to dye with a combination of both um, and I'm trying to think what the brown one was I really can't remember I'll have to try and remember that one but the comfrey is definitely the light green that's going to bug me now I'm wondering if maybe the the peachy I oh know the peachy colors matter that's the avocado I remember now so avocado skins and pits together I would think because of the color that it is comfrey the light green and the apricot color is madder madder root which I used as a powder so yeah it's absolutely huge and it's really beautiful I think because each of the log cabins that you add on um, all look slightly different like where the stripes are so I really hoped you enjoyed seeing that actually but it's so heavy because it's made with wool okay went off on a bit of tangent there I hope you enjoyed that <laughs> Another kit that was very kindly gifted to me by Cross Stitch Sarah, and this is the Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady. Again, beautiful colours, love foxgloves. See a theme here with florals, can't you? <laughs> I won this in Stitchy Sally's recent, fairly recent giveaways, um, and it's a full kit with a frame. Again, gorgeous, gorgeous colours. The Lanate kit, I really love that one. Okay, more small kits. This one is one that I bought on eBay. It's an RTO kit called Magic Palette. And I just love owls. My daughter, my youngest daughter, is obsessed with owls as well. And um, he reminds me of a Bob Ross, you know, the famous artist. I don't know why. I just, it really makes me smile. Um, and that's a full kit again. And I spoke to Laura, you know, I stitch birds, and she says there's a whole collection of these birds, so I really need to look them up. So this is a kit that I bought from Willow Crafts ages ago, I think last beginning of last summer. And it comes with these little tins and the finishing. So I've got three of those tins. And I've got all the materials and that is to stitch those little bunnies. They're really cute with little scenes that come and you finish them in the tins from I think it's Cross Stitcher magazine. I'm going to put a picture up here so you can see what I'm talking about. But they were over a few edition, uh, a few issues. So if you want to know what issues they are, just again message me or put a comment below and I can look it up for you. But I'm planning to get those stitched for my daughters. I'm hoping to get that done by their birthdays and Christmas um, this year because um, they're both around. They're both winter babies. They're both around November, December time for their birthdays. I think that's all the small kits that I have. Uh, the next one is the Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady. Um, I was very kindly gifted this one. Um, by A to V brands I really need to start this I know I say that about everything but I do really love these kits so they really kindly gifted me this one along with some um, clear stamps um, and some die cuts as well which I have used um, and then when Hobbycraft had their 50% off sale I just couldn't pass up the matching one because I think they'll be really lovely as um, hung together. This is another one from A to B Brands, which was um, a gift. And I have stitched this one um, and I finished it, FFO'd it onto a little bit of mount board and I just have it propped up in my craft space. Um, sometimes my daughter 
has it in her room it just kind of moves around but I, I really want to stitch this one bump by name I don't think I like the wording I, I do like the worm and Mr Bump but I think I'll change it to just say Mr Bump and I might possibly do Little Miss Sunshine um not keen on the princess I won't do that so definitely do this one perhaps do that one the DMC mindful making woodland glade cross stitch kit um and it comes with these lovely and really small skeins are they four meters off the top of my memory uh, two meters so they're half the size of um no they're normally eight meters aren't they so they're a quarter of the size of the normal dmc skeins the next one i also bought in the hobby craft 50 percent off sale this one was six pounds and it's a really lovely um tuva who are also the publishers of those books that i shared yesterday um the home suite home um the gira book and i think they also publish the Duran jones book as well um they're a really interesting company if you follow them on instagram or just look them up they've got some lovely lovely um kits and books i really want the Duran jones floral one i think it's called floral dreams I was looking at it again last night and lusting after it so i probably will get it at some point soon but yeah i love this little bike and i love the way that this is presented i love these really sturdy dmc floss cards i think they're great and i've got this one which is lucy and charlie again by tuva um and again, I got it in the Hobbycraft 50% off sale. And oh, it's so gorgeous. It just reminds me of my oldest daughter. And yeah, again, it's a really lovely full kit with those sturdy DMC cards. Okay, the next ones I was going to show you. My lovely project bag from Pauline at Sobe Bags. I adore this bag. <laughs> um, so I showed this fairly recently. This is my Andriana restart of Coffee Keepers. Um, I showed. And I've got the full set of these. So this is Coffee Keepers. Um coffee admirers oh my god i love everything about this i love it all especially that reindeer on top of that cafetiere and the mushrooms on the little um i can't remember what these are called i have got one <laughs> and the coffee grinder and aren't these just gorgeous in back stitch and i'm going to stitch this on the same vintage sam's and then I've also got Tea Keepers, which again is just absolutely stunning. And then I showed this in my last Voss tube. This is the Tea Admirers. So I bought Tea Admirers from my bobbin um, and got it from Russia because I haven't seen this for sale in the UK yet. And then the other three I bought from um, Hobby Jobby. Um, and I got them all in the sale so they were really inexpensive and they're all full kits but I won't use the Ada in them I'm going to stitch them all on the vintage sands I think this one um, and have them all as a collection and I'm manifesting my dream kitchen that is large enough that I'm going to have them all framed together but you know I've got plenty of time to, <laughs> to um, bring that to fruition This is funny. I nearly filmed this video yesterday, but um, I ran out of light and it was a good job um, that I didn't because <laughs> I had an epiphany last night that I hadn't 
put this in my pile that was ready to record this morning. And when I say a pile, it's all here next to me on the ironing board. There's just piles of it. <laughs> um, so I'm glad that I decided to record today so that I wouldn't forget this one. This is a really lovely cotton and twine box. Um, if you've never received a cotton and twine box, then I recommend you go over and, you know, set up the notification so that you um, get, you know, emails about their designs or just keep an eye on them on Instagram because they are a lovely, lovely company and their designs are always really special. So I bought this in May 2023 last year. That isn't a shadow here. That is actually um, the picture. <laughs> I just fell in love with this. I love everything about it, particularly this little fox. Um, you always get this really lovely East of India bag. I love the company East of India as well, and they work with them a lot. And inside here is your needle. This one came with an exclusive needle minder, which is this really lovely welly boot, which has Liberty London fabric printed on it. Um, a really nice decoration. You always get a nice tea bag. I think I've got three different ones. Um, I think I've had an Earl Grey before um, and this classic one. I think I've had another one before. I can't remember. Might have just been two. You get your piece of Ada, but they now do a linen option, which is really great. That's only come into force, I think, the last month or so. You get your dowel for finishing your wall hanging and the jute to hang it. And you get your floss card. So they're really really lovely boxes and i would quite like to start that now it's spring maybe i'll start it this may i can't believe it's the first of april today i just don't know where time has gone <laughs> um this was a recent purchase well a recent birthday present that my husband purchased and this is from heritage crafts um, they have got a buy one get one free on all the sale items in the shop at the moment so I did go over and have a look but nothing really popped out at me but you might see something you really like so I just thought I'd mention that and um, yeah I love this it's designed by Elaine Serenum and it's called Tranquility look at that isn't it gorgeous and it's I've got the 27 count even weave, um, which is really nice to stitch on, and all the flosses. I think there's, I think there's two floss cards with this one. Um, inside this bag, I love this bag, my acorn fairy. So this is the start of a collection by Mel's Stitches, also by Heritage Crafts. This one's called Verdant Canopy. And I did show this, I think, in my one of my floss shoes recently. But this is how far I've got on it. So I've, I've probably done a quarter. I'm probably about 25% through on this one. Um, but the reason I'm showing it to you again is because um, Mel Stitches is an amazing artist. I follow her on Instagram um, and Heritage Crafts have bought out quite a few sets in collaboration with her now. I've got three of them. I think there's maybe six. So I'm missing two or three. So I have Hidden Valley which lovely Karen at Weedy Flower Creations. And if you don't watch Karen, please go over and have a look at her channel. She hasn't uploaded for a while. Um, we're missing you, Karen. Uh, no pressure to record, though, but would be lovely to see you back. Um, she's a knitter as well. and She makes some lovely things. But we started to stitch along together, and there is a few other people joining in with us. But Karen started Hidden Valley at the time I started Verdant Canopy. And hers is looking absolutely gorgeous. Um, so the, that was the second one they released. Um, I've also got this one, which is called Peaceful Retreat. I just love everything about this. And it, it kind of reminds me of 
um, engine houses that we have here in Cornwall from, you know, mining times when lots of mining happened in Cornwall. And all the derelict engine houses are like scattered all over the coastline. They're really impressive and beautiful. And some of them you can get up close to and, and look into. The, if you've never been to Cornwall, then <laughs> you need to come. It's an amazing part of the UK country. Um, I feel so blessed to live here. But that was the main reason I bought it. And I just love everything about it. Um, they're one of the, they released two very, very recently. And um, so the, the, the three that I've already showed you and the Elaine Serenum Swan one, they all came directly from Heritage Crafts. And at the time of buying them, I think they were all on uh, like a sale, either a Black Friday sale or a summer sale. So I got quite a lot of money off. This moonlit bay one, I was completely enabled by Kim, Stitchy Squirrels. Thank you, Kim. She sent me a link to, to a shop on eBay. I can't remember what they're called now. I'll try and put it in the description bo box below. But they have lots of bothy kits, um, heritage crafts, and they're all really, really affordable. And they had a voucher on the eBay shop for, I think it was like 5% off. So I ended up getting this for about, I think it was... 24 pounds which is an absolute bargain it might have even been 22 pound i remember thinking that is a bargain and i'm not leaving it and this was the last one they had and i really love this one um very close to where i live probably the next uh well two coves down is a place called gwythian and there is a little cove where if you walk up on the cliff top and look down in the cove there is always like hundreds of seals on that beach it's really really special place there's also a really beautiful lighthouse there and it just reminded me of lots of memories of being at Gwydion. um is it Gwydion? yeah it's called Gudrivi it's national trust and it's in a place called Gwydion, like a little village called Gwydion. so yeah i love that one so so much so they're my Mel Stitches kits, my Heritage Crafts kits. Um, I showed this in my last Foss tube. This is some Stitchy Kindness from Crafty Yams. It's her Women Life Freedom kit with her handmade pomegranate floss holder. I've got some eBay purchases. So I showed this recently as well. This is Lauren Tucker with Twilies of Stamford. And it's this gorgeous froggy, or is he a toad? I don't know, but I love him. I think I bought this last year. Um, this is a, I think it's called CEWEC, C-E-W-E-C. -E -E I'm not sure if it stands for something, but I saw this kit and I just fell in love with it. I just thought the flowers were so beautiful. Um, so it comes with, um, I'll try not to show the chart there's some instructions i don't know when this kit's from is it vintage i know that um lovely lindsay at wolfie stitches she has been stitching a sea wet kit that's these trolls around a campfire it's really really precious um i can't see a date on this pattern i do have a feeling that it is quite vintage but i could be wrong yeah there's no date on it so it's called V5998 and yeah it comes with all the flosses as well. Okay I bought this in the Maloka Designs um, sale. It was last year sometime, it might have been last summer. Um, con completely enabled by Yasmin's Made With Love and Kim again. <laughs> um, Maloka had quite a large sale that was all with seconds. Like there might have been slight imperfections with them but to be honest like don't know what's wrong with this like i opened it and couldn't see anything wrong with it really love this peacock and um it comes with the ada and the flosses and i also bought a seconds um peacock needle minder as well and it came with that free mandala cat cross stitch pattern um so i used to go to a local um 
cross stitch group at Emma Louise Art Stitch, her little shop in St Austell. I haven't been for absolutely ages. It just isn't really working with family life at the moment because my daughter goes to art school and it's like at completely the opposite end of Cornwall to where the stitch group is. So, yeah, and I have actually started going to a really lovely little cross stitch group with um, lovely Morty and Brom. So Mad Morty. Um, Morty and Brom live fairly close to me. I've met her, well, both of them a couple of times now, and they're such lovely people. I absolutely adore their floss tube. If you don't watch Morty and Brom, I recommend that you go over and watch them, and I'll, I'll link them down below in the description bar. But Morty stitches quite spooky things. Um, she also does lots of really intricate beading, um, chatelaines, um, I think she's going to start doing some more of the fancier ladies, like the, I can't remember what the design is called. It's not Mirabilia or Nora Corbett. It's a, it's a different um, designer. I, I just can't think of it off the top of my, um, you know, on the drop of a hat. I can't think of what they're called. But, um, yeah, Morty is um, going to start stitching those, I think. And she's doing the pirate ships with the snowmen. Oh, she stitches some wonderful things. And Brom does, like, ink circles. He's just finished the most amazing ink circles piece. And it's just made me want to stitch an ink circles. It's just gorgeous with a variegated thread that he's chosen. Um, and he's stitching a really beautiful badger by Heritage Craft. Um, so, yeah, they both do really lovely stitching. And the way they film together, the way they are on camera with each other, it's just, it's really lovely to watch. They've got really nice um, camaraderie between them. It's really enjoyable floss tube. So um, yeah, I'll link them below. Go over and watch them if you don't already. Um, but Morty messaged me and said that she was going to set up a new stitch group, which is in between both of us. Um, and there a few other people came along as well. Um, Safi Stitch is lovely Kelly. Um, who does a lot of full coverage and she brought along the most amazing um, cross stitch piece that she was doing at the moment and yeah we met last Saturday um, for a couple of hours it was really nice so I think we're going to be meeting monthly so if you live in Cornwall and you want to join us just let me know <laughs> um, it's only a very small space at the moment, but um, I think if we expand, Morty's got another ven venue in mind. But I went off on a tangent again. <laughs> but um, when I went to Emma Louise's art stitch group, um, lovely Emma, um, who works in the shop for Emma, and she's also a model stitcher for her, but she had lots of the Bothy Threads kits that she had completed, and she wondered if anyone wanted to use them. And I really love this Kingfisher. So there is some leftover threads. I'm not quite sure if there is enough there. I think they use Madeira, don't they? Um, so I don't know whether you can buy top-up um, floss cards from Bothy Threads. I need to look into that. Um, or whether I could maybe buy the Madeira separately. Or try and, you know, match them up to DMC somehow. I don't know. But I really loved him. And then I've got a Janelin County cross stitch, a vintage kit from 1993 that lovely Lindsay over at Wolfie Stitches gifted to me. This is a full kit and you can tell it's vintage because it's like a proper photograph that's like stuck onto the front. And yeah, I really want to stitch this one with the little house and the fence with the lovely greenery. I think Kim quite liked the bird bath. So once I finish this one, I'm going to post it to her. But, you know, I thought this one would make a really nice memorial piece. You know, quite often when loved ones pass away and people put benches like that are engraved in like the areas that they love. Like we have a lot here on the cliff top of people putting them there in the me memorial of their loved ones. And I thought that would make such a nice memorial piece. OK, last little pile. <laughs> ugly project bag coming up <laughs> so as part of the jingle bells advent box that i got 
gifted by the historical sampler company there was three small kits that came included um, in that box this is one of them the snowman ornament oh i absolutely love her i've named her beryl i don't know why she just looks like a beryl to me and i've kitted this up on some lovely floss cards that lovely hazel who is hazelnut crafts on instagram she gifted to me at stitch in london she gifted them to everyone i think lovely lovely hazel barely sits down because she's around gifting out of her massive bag <laughs> and hazel's going again the same weekend as me so yeah if you're going to weekend one of stitch in london let me know won't you because that's the weekend that i'm booked on for this october i think it's october 4th to the 6th and i cannot wait can't wait and Hazel's coming again, so I can't wait to see her. So the second kit that came is this one, the Christmas tree. And it came with Ada, the felt, the board, some little orange ribbons, some orange rickrack. And, oh, this must be for the little noses. And that's an anchor. Uh, Anchor Lame, is that how you say it? So that's another little kit, the reindeer snow globe. And it came with Ada, the easel and the canvas to finish it on. Some jute. I don't know what the jute's for. Maybe the jute was for something else. And um, some cardboard to finish it on. Some felt. I think some of these kits I've got mixed up. A little ribbon, some beads, which I thought I could use over all three projects. Like um, they did a really amazing tutorial on Instagram where they showed that you could replace French knots and how to do that with beads. And then it came, the box came with this really lovely bag and it's got the floss cards for, um, what's this one for? small projects so i think that's to do all three projects so i think i just took some off and put them on the floss cards for the snowman oh this is a gift from sarah it's got a little passport um charm on it and sarah sent this to me a while ago i think i've already showed this on my floss tube but a really lovely sunflower card um and she sent me free chart for sunflower some really lovely um permin for me to try 32 count beautiful beige um oh, i really love working on permin um it's such a sturdy linen i know some people don't like it but i really like permin because it stays taut in the nerge frame or in a hoop it doesn't lose tension at all and I find it really pleasurable to stitch on. She also gifted me in this a really nice um, classic colourwork sunflower, I think. It, oh, no, it is in here. I thought I'd lost... Well, I thought I'd put it away in my main stash, but I haven't. Um, she also gifted me this with a needle um, and some threads. I love that little head jog. I think that's from Pip and Chip. Tell me if I'm wrong, Sarah and this was a little mini kit that she'd set up for a retreat that she was going to for remembrance day so a little poppy with a button and she asked me if i'd like a kit as well so um, yeah she'd even put some little buttons in that and some little fold away scissors i think that's the third pair i've got and again, not going to demonstrate how these work because I have in the past and cut myself on film. <laughs> oh, there's another button there. And then in here, I've got some yellow trim, chenille trim and classic colourwork sunflower. So I think I'm going to stitch the sunflower and the poppy kits very soon. It's on my to-do list, Sarah. Well, maybe I should do the poppy this Remembrance Day um, and do the sunflower over the spring or summer this year. 
last floss tube i've already finished you could do hard things i've got it all on my all my floss on this lovely holder from cross stitch bunny and in here i've got another kit talk to yourself a little nicer today from the geeky stitching company and lastly, this is a haul of a kit, but also lovely, 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 lovely stitchy kindness, again, from lovely Lorna. <laughs> Lorna contacted me and said, um, I found a geeky stitching company um, stitch along kit that I'm that I just wondered if you'd like it. I don't think she wanted it anymore. I said, oh, yes, please. Um, so when it arrived, Lorna had not just sent one kit. She'd sent me three. I was... <laughs> I was actually I was absolutely gobsmacked and she sent me the most gorgeous bar of um vegan lint chocolate the the lint vegan the, the lint vegan chocolate is the most amazing vegan chocolate it's probably the most like dairy chocolate that I've ever tasted um and it was a sea salt and caramel one oh it was absolutely heaven thank you Lorna I enjoyed it over you know this Easter bank holiday weekend um so she sent me a hoop and some lovely ribbon. Oh, in here it said open carefully and it was this gorgeous card which is, you know, you it's got seeds in it and you can plant it. And a really lovely pin with a snowflake. Can you see that? sent me another gorgeous card as well which is on my desk i haven't brought that with me um in here is the floss pack and it's the woodland cell so all the flosses that you need um and that's the fabric for it a really nice sage green ada and i don't think i've got a whole picture just let me have a look Oh, if I lay them out, then you'll get to see them. So this is part three. Uh, just trying to remember the order. So the deer obviously connects to there. Uh, and that goes next to the cabin. It's quite hard to show this, isn't it? <laughs> so the fox will go there. And then on this side, you've got a bear with a snail. It's so cute. So this is, and it says stay wild. It's called the woodland sow. I really, really like that. I think it's cute. Oh, it was so kind of you to think of me, Lorna. And then she sent me a second kit, which is this um, Geeky Stitching Company again. Um, this is from 2002 and it's this really sweet little lambs aren't they gorgeous this really lovely soft linen and the threads and a needle and then the third kit was a really lovely caterpillar cross stitch complete kit and it was the one that was the animals with the tiger um a giraffe i think and another animal um but my daughter's had that one she's claimed it and she's already started it I'll put in a picture if I can. Um, yeah, that was nabbed by her. <laughs> and I was happy for her to have it. Um, it will bring her lots of joy. So thank you so much, Lorna, for your stitchy kindness once again. And yeah, that concludes my kit parade. Um, I will be back, I hope, with a regular floss tube, um, which will be floss tube 21. I would think in a couple of weeks time because we are currently on half term and so I have both my girls at home um, so yes hopefully I'll be back in a couple of weeks so that would make it mid April and that will probably be about a month since I last showed you my whip update so that will be really nice to show you my progress for the month of stitching um but um just to say thank you once again for all my new subscribers and if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to keep up to date with what i'm doing then please like and comment and subscribe 
to my channel that would be really great and if you click the bell button then you'll be notified of any videos that i upload and a final final thank you to say um i appreciate so many of you that have come over to my coffee shop and made purchases in the last month um yeah several of the birdie pre-sale sets have been sold so thank you so much i'm busy working away on those and they should be shipping out very soon um so yeah thank you very much how do i do this there we go <laughs> is that a heart lots of love to you all take care happy stitching bye